Hello. Okay, we can start now. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Ruth Oboye. I am a pharmacist and I am also a graduate student. I welcome you to the applications information session that we have today. And with me is my co-host, my Lenet colleague. <laughs> Kindly introduce yourself, sir. Yeah, hi everyone. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you could you, you might be. I am Oladik Badibo and I'm also a graduate student. I'm a pharmacist. I uh, got my training from the University of Ibado, Nigeria. And then it's so great to have you all here this time. Thank you so much. So we're going to be starting right away. The reason we're having this session is that officially today, the applications to join our community, Biosphera, was opened. And for the benefit of our members that would like to know more about this community before they submit the application, and that is why we're having this um, meeting today. And trust me, it's going to be a very interesting session. Please remember to share the link to your friends, as many that has indicated their interest to join our community. It will not be good for them to meet to miss this meeting. So the con um today we are going to be taking you on a journey, a very simple journey. We're going to be telling you more about our community, Bosphera, telling you why you should join Bosphera, and also sharing how you can strengthen your application and also common errors you should avoid while submitting your application to join our community. Oh yeah, there will be opportunity for members to speak, you know, to share their experiences, uh, the moment they join, what, what, uh, what their expectations were. And trust me, you're gonna learn a lot. There will also be an opportunity for you to ask your questions and also for your questions to be answered. Now, uh, getting started, it is an honor for me to tell you more about this community, Biosphera. Now, about Biosphera, Biosphera was funded three years ago, and sometimes last year, December, we celebrated our third anniversary, which is which was a very oh, awesome oh. event. Thank you. So, Biosphera is a community of young and emerging bioscientists committed to advancing bioscience in Africa. So, we are a community. We are not just a, a group. We are not just a platform. We are a community. And when you talk about community, there is some sort of relationship. There's some sort of communal a characteristic that defines a community. So that is what we have. And we are uh we are consist of um, emerging bios bioscientists with one goal and that goal is to advance bioscience in Africa. We're a platform that motivate and support early bio early career bioscientists passionate about personal development and career advancement. So if you know that you are big on your personal development if you know that, oh, you really need to advance your career, then I tell you that Biosphere is a community you should join. And uh, we're not just, I don't know what they call this word, but we are so open to accepting members, right? And we accept young scientists, Africans interested in bioscience. As long as you have an interest, you have something that is that you are interested in pertaining to bioscience. You are welcome to Biosphere as a community. We have members that cut across nations in Africa. We have Rwandans, we have Sierra Leoneans, we have members from Zimbabwe, and we have Ghanaians and Amist as well as Nigerians. And we're not just uh, limited to, let's say, uh, graduates, no. 
we have undergraduates in our midst, we have graduate students, we have post baccalaureate students, and we have people with advanced degrees, we have young professionals. And um, in terms of what kind of members do we accept in Biosphere? If you, if you have a background in biological sciences, you are welcome. And talking about background in biological sciences, you know, it's it's just a lot. You know, it's very diverse. We have courses in um, agricultural sciences, anatomy, physiology, and please, I would like us all to mute our mics. So um, if you belong to, um, if you have a background in animal biology, biochemistry, biotechnology, medical sciences, you know, cell biology, anything related to bioscience. And interestingly enough, we understand that there are, there are courses, right? There are fields, for example, physics. There are fields that, even though they do not sound related to uh, biosciences, but do you know that there is a field called medical physics? As long as there is an interest, you, you're you interested in solving a problem that is related to the biological sciences, you are welcome as a member of Biosphere. Now to the next slide, what is our mission statement, you may ask? We have a very specific mission statement. And that is to nurture the workforce. I'm going to emphasize the word nurturing. We are committed to grow, like I've mentioned before. A statement, we are to we are nurturing the workforce for the future of bioscience in Africa through a platform that fosters learning, collaboration, and career investment. I'll tell you what Biosphere offers. It offers you learning. Now it's it takes the question, are you actually committed to learning? So if you know that you are committed to knowledge, you are committed to learning, I tell you, Biosphere is a community that you should be. Because in Biosphere, we share resources, we share articles in science, articles in bioscience that's related to bioscience in Africa. We share opportunities, fellowships, books, articles, prizes, you know, awards that you can apply to in our community every week, you know, every, uh, from time to time. So I tell you, we are committed to nurturing people that are actually interested in learning. How about collaboration? A very big on collaboration. You know, I, I mentioned earlier that our community is made up of people with different backgrounds, people in med med medical sciences, in microbiology, in biochemistry. Even though these courses, they do, you know, they, they sound like they're so independent, but of course they are not. The future of bioscience right now is collaboration. So we are so big on that. In terms of collaboration, you know, we um we have opportunities to publish papers, to publish articles. We have opportunity to jump into projects together. You bring your ideas, I bring mine, so that a purpose and a goal can be met. And also career advancement. I'm sure you you have a goal, right? You have where you want to, where you know that you are aspiring to be in terms of your career. In both fairer. We have people that have walked that same part. We have people that are even walking that same part. And in that community, you have an opportunity to interact with those people. Because of course, during our programs, during our sessions, we invite guests to come speak to us about some about uh, different fields. So if a particular session actually ministers to your career, that is a plus, that is an advantage, and that is what Biosphere offers. What is our vision statement? 
and that is to build a self-sustaining ecosystem that empowers bioscientists in Africa. I tell you, self-sustaining, and really it is an ecosystem because there is this relationship, you know, there is this interaction that exists amongst our members. So um, it goes to the next question. I'm sure you, you, you actually saw, um, you saw the, the, the call for membership somewhere. Why should you join Biosphere? Just ask yourself, why should I join Biosphere? This is an answer to your question. And it's actually very simple. I've mentioned before, the first one is, in Biosphere, you will acquire knowledge. You will increase the knowledge depth of latest bioscientific development in research because periodically we have opportunities for scientific discussions. We have opportunities for discussions that are not just within your sphere. I know you have, you know, you have um you're working towards you have a field, right? And you're in a community, perhaps in your school, perhaps in um your laboratory, you, you have something you are focused on, you have a research that you're focused on. However, in Biosphere, you have an opportunity to interact with people working in different, uh, in different fields. You have an opportunity to learn about what is it is going on in other aspects. So that is why I said, definitely, you will acquire knowledge. Also, you will own your research skills. That is why you should join Biosphere. Because in, 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 in Biosphere, there, there are lots of opportunities for you, to, uh, for you to develop relevant research skills. And there are a number of them, of course, critical thinking, oral presentation, scientific writing, bioinformatics. But I actually want to emphasize that for you to be able to own your research skills, like I mentioned before, this is a community, you have to be involved. Now, there is no way you can improve yourself in oral presentation if you don't present. So we have a, we have a culture in our community, and that is every member must be committed to presentation because we know for sure that there is no way you can own your skills if you are not involved, if you don't do something to work towards that skills. So that is what this community is about. If you want to own your research skills, you can identify those skills. And Biosphere gives you a platform to work on yourself, to think about an idea, and that is critical thinking, to think about an idea and come discuss that idea in that community oral presentation scientific writing and we have opportunities for various trainings we've had different trainings uh, over the couple of over the years we've had trainings in bioinformatics we have trainings in uh research um research uh tools i, I mean like meant some months ago we had a training on how i'm sure we know about how right uh analyzing data and all that so in biosphere we have opportunities to learn those skills uh, the last one that I would like to mention is it's a community to network and also to collaborate. Like I said, this is this is um we, we, we don't it's we don't stand alone, right? If you're a member of Biosphere, you are not just there alone. You are there with people, you are there with with your friends, you are there with members. So we are supposed to network and collaborate. We build new relationships with people with similar interests or even like people with multidisciplinary fields, right? So there are collaborations in Biosphere and there have been evidences, I'm telling you. There have been evidences of collaborations, you know, articles being published, uh, even, uh, even, you know, put podcasts being launched, newsletters being launched just because of the collaboration we get from members. Like I mentioned before, this would not be possible if you are not involved. So just have it in your mind. Yes, I have told you 
why you should join Biosphere. But as a member of this community, you have to be involved. So you have to, you know, you have to be aware and of that fact. Like if you actually want these goals to be achieved in your in in your life, then you have once as you're applying, you should recognize that you are applying to get involved. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to invite my colleague to take up the second session of this presentation. Thank you very much, Ruth. That was really, really detailed. I mean, just so good for our incoming members or prospective members to know about this, what we stand for as a community, and also our goals and how all of these align with our personal goals too. Well done, Ruth. So um, I will take us through writing your application essay. So we don't just want to leave you to just write. We also want to help you to um, put in the best application when you're submitting. But before I go into that, I would want to um, just highlight some important dates for us again. I'm sure that some of us could have seen all of these dates in some of our um, some of our designs that we released. Um, with the application information, but just to like inform you again and reiterate some of these dates. Um, and then one of them was February 15th, application opened February 15th, and we are currently having our applications information session. Applications would close on March 6th, and then decisions will be sent out on 16th March, and there will be an onboarding session on March 23rd. So but for now, the important date here to notice March 6th, and that's when we'll stop accepting applications um, from prospective members, just for us to take note of these dates again. So going into writing your research, oh, sorry, <laughs> writing your application essay. Um, so we have some essay prompts, and then it's basically that you tell us about your motivation for joining Biosphere, and you should highlight your expectations from the community and, the, and how they would end, advance your career goals. Now, the thing is that I can tell you that this is a community of excellent people and we want to we want to maintain that status, right? So we want to take in excellent people too, as much as possible. And then when you get in, you will still continue to be excellent, right? And then how we can decide that is when you put in your application. application your application speak for you. So we don't get to see you directly, but we can see, we can know how motivated you are to join the community just by what you put in, in your application. And so the um the word count is between 150 to 200. We believe that um as much as possible, you know, you want to be very concise and also detailed. So we want to, it's it's a very important thing in your application, such that you don't have too much words and also two little words. So, so we are giving you that space of 150 to 200 words maximum to uh, present to us your motivation for joining the community and also highlighting your expectations and how that will help to advance your career goals. So just to give you some tips on what we look out for, your knowledge of the community. We expect you to have done your research about the community, the community as it's all over the uh, all over different social media platforms. We are on Instagram, we are sorry, we are on um Facebook, we're on Twitter, we are on LinkedIn. So these um social media platforms at least would provide as much information as you need for uh about this uh, um as, as much information as, as you need about the community, especially for this application. So we want to in your application, we want to see that you have a good knowledge of the community, at least what we stand for and all of that. And then we also want you to state your career goals. Yeah, state your career goals. All of us in the community are, are really career oriented. We are the type that know what we want and then we are working towards it. And that's what the community is also all about. You know, having a sense of community where you come in and then by you interacting with other people, you're able to own your skills, like Ruth mentioned earlier, and then also improve on whatever aspect you should improve on. 
So gaining some hard and soft skills and all of that. These are what these are the things that we stand for as a community. And another thing that we want in your application is how these career goals will fit into the community's overall purpose. Ruth mentioned earlier on the mission and vision statements of the community. So we want to see how your career goals actually fit into this because we don't want you to be lost in the community. We want you to always, you know, there's something that they say that you are always on the same page. You know, we are on the same page with you. The community is on the same page with you. That is when anything can work. That is when you can advance your career and that is when the community too can grow. So we also want to see how you hope to con contribute to and benefit from the community. So it's a two-way thing. We are not, we are not, it's not one directional. We, we, there is no parasite amongst us, you know. We want you to come contribute to the community and also benefit from, uh, from the community. So, and then the community is just not an edifice. It's not a building or something. It's actually made up of people. So if there is a multi-directional interaction, that is actually when community, that's how communities grow. You know, so just for us to achieve our mission, um, our vision, and also for you to achieve your career goals, it's important that we you let us know how you contribute to and benefit from the community. So Ruth mentioned earlier that it's important that for compulsory for members to engage in community sessions, to make presentations, um, to moderate, to join. Well, you could volunteer also to join some committees. That, that 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 the meeting um that the community has and also we have journal clubs also that could really help you with your presentation skills and also probably spark up some research ideas and you know journal club is another uh subsect of of the community where you get to like we have smaller number of people there and then we discuss different papers and then, so if you are really not the crowd kind of a person or this is a smaller community where you can also interact with people with more specific research goals or more specific career goals. And we want a clear presentation of your ideas. We don't want any form of ambiguity in your, in your, in your application. We want everything to be as clear as possible. And we want you to write in English. You know, we want you to write in English language and then be as concise but detailed and very clear with your presentation of ideas and information. So um, based on our experience with previous applications, we want to highlight some common errors that you might want to um, do away with, common errors that we've seen in the past that we, we want you to at least dodge. Wrongly placed or incomplete details. We want, Like I said, we want your information, everything you are pu putting in your motivation letter and all of that to be as detailed as possible to be as detailed as possible so we don't want any wrongly placed or incomplete details for example let me just say for example imagine you saying that you um you have a bachelor's degree without telling you telling us what you what you actually studied in school that's just an example it might be very superficial but just for you to have an idea of what an incomplete detail could mean so we want to actually know what you studied if you are a graduate already. If you are an undergraduate, tell us what you are studying currently and possibly value your school. So that really help. Um, lack of willingness to commit to community activities. I know that people change over time and all of that. But what I want to tell you is that with your application, we could actually know that you have the motivation or you have the willingness to commit, could commit to community activities. So we really want to see that 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 um enthusiasm to join the community and also your willingness to commit to our activities like, like i reiterated even after ruth mentioned it it is really important it's really important for you to com commit or to participate actively in community activities lack of knowledge of the community it's this this is so easy to know in some applications it's so easy it's one of the easiest things to pinpoint in any application, lack of knowledge of the community. Like I said, we want you we want you to display good knowledge of community. And I've already mentioned some ways that you can get information about the community. 
LinkedIn is there, Twitter, and Facebook. So you can get some um, information about the community from those platforms. Essays with insufficient details. These details thing have been coming up and up and up. That really shows how how we are so um we are so we are, we are we 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 are looking out for details, every tiny details actually. That's how we are so invested in this. How we want to see a very detailed uh, application from you guys. Profit. Now, um, we had a list of different areas that align with biological sciences earlier in the previous slides. So, with it's important that your career goals and your 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 research area and the course you are studying actually aligns with what we stand for as a community. We are not accepting everybody. We are not accepting everybody. We want what you are doing to be as to be very to no matter how tiny, uh no matter how tiny to just overlap with biological sciences. Okay. So your course area, your research interest should be a bit high. Um Ruth mentioned earlier that even if you are studying physics, for instance, if you are studying biophysics or medical physics, of course you are allowed you are allowed into the community. But anything that you're studying that really doesn't have any anything to do with biological sciences, you know, this is a very funny example, but you studying courses in humanities or something, it's really a profit for this community. Failure to meet what count, failure to meet what count. You know, we are reviewing a lot of applications. Like I said, part of excellence that we want in the incoming members is that to be as concise as possible, but not to compromise on details. So be detailed and concise with your applications. So yeah, with that, we'll move to member stake. So we want to give some members the opportunity to talk about their experience, probably pre-application or and also after the time they joined the community, how the community has really helped them. So that just for you to understand how the whole thing works beyond we presenters, beyond what we've presented to you, we want community members to talk to how the community has helped them or probably what they were expecting during the application process and how, how they are doing currently if their expectations were met or not, just to talk about whether there's any skills that they were able to earn by virtue of them joining the community, or they were able to take on leadership positions or collaborate. There's some major collaborations that, that have happened. There are some, you know, there are some motivations that have actually happened too. You know, because someone is doing something, you're able to incorporate whatever they are doing or even collaborate with them, partner with them to um, join you on a particular course or whatever you might be doing. So at this point, we would want members to, to speak up. So yeah, so I don't know if there's anyone that wants to talk about their experience so far. Okay, so yeah, my staff calling names. I might start calling names so that we all can. I know that we all have one thing or the other to 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 say. Actually, for me, I remember my first presentation, and you know, it's over time. Like for me, I've just like tried to embrace speaking as possible, as much as possible. I know my career goals and all of that. I, I know that I'm going to speak a lot. So I I believe that any opportunity I have to speak, to talk, to present, to make presentations and all of that, I grab such opportunities because you improve with practice, right? And also in the community, I've been able to volunteer 
communities and also to lead um one of the journal clubs that we have within the community. So beyond coming for sessions and all of that, it's also building leadership skills and also time management skills. You know, you have to, having to combine all of that with your personal endeavors and all of that. I am a graduate student currently and I'm an active member of the community. So yeah, I know I didn't say too much, but I've been speaking for a while. So um okay, I know some members are here. I know your names. So Sheriff Dean, good. Thank you, Sheriff Dean. You can unmute your mic and speak. Hi, um, good evening. Good evening, Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Sheriff. Okay, um, so um, being a member of Biosphere has helped me in many ways. As an undergraduate, there are some things that I wouldn't have known about, like I wouldn't have found out in the um, world of our science, and as it relates to my course of study, which is biotechnology, like, and um, almost all, all these things, I have been able to get them from the sections that we have, have been able to join since I've become a member of the community. So, and these are giving me a, a hedge and the upper hand above all my colleagues in school. There's some things that, like, ordinarily, they wouldn't, they, they, almost all my mates don't know about them, but that all these things, they are not, it's not as if I, bring, I brought them from um, somewhere, somewhere divine or something. I got, I gained them because I'm a member of this community. So that's number one. And also, like, there are some high quality individuals that have been able to, to network with in the community and I've been able like that have been helped me to shape my perspective in terms of career. So um and lastly um I've been able to volunteer in in um <clears throat> camps camps team for Biosphere and so and it has helped shape, sharpen my communication skills and other related skills. So that's what I can say for now. Thank you very much. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for your contribution, Sheriff Dean. The truth is that, you know, like we said, this is a community and then there are different people from different backgrounds as regards um, their programs of study and their research interests. You know, sometimes I just come here, I'm more in, like I can be graduate student in pharmaceutical sciences, but some of our sessions are on environmental sciences and I'm just like, okay, you know, talking about global warming and all of that, people talking, bring different perspectives to the topic. And I'll be like, okay, this is really cool. I mean, getting some more information about it. It might not really pertain to my research right now, but you know, it shows that, okay, you can actually contribute to something that's not really in your research line, you know? And then really thought provoking conversations actually go on here. So I understand like, Imagine being an undergraduate and then you just, you just go to your class, you're moving stuff and all of that. If you start looking at you, like, where are you getting all these things from? This is what we do in the community. How you are able to like expand your knowledge base. Which one, Sheriff? Why do I think Alimat wants to say something? I don't know. Alimat, this is me directly calling you up. Alimat, are you there? Okay, so um, Chinaza, how has the journey been so far before application? Um, and and now I know you've been a member of the community for a while, if not right from the time of insertion, but at least how has the journey been for the community? Another. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Chinaza. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What do you mean? Okay, yeah. Okay, so um, I'll say for me, my journey has been very positive. <coughs> sorry, sorry. 
my journey has been very positive. I know prior to joining the community, um, communicating with people has been one thing that has been a big challenge for me. Like it doesn't, it doesn't come naturally to me. So on joining the community, I got the opportunity to volunteer with the chaperone. And that really took me out of my comfort zone. Like you had to talk to people. There's no way you'd be a chap a chaperone that you would not talk to people. And then presenting. I'm someone that like I like if I'm in my if I'm on my own, I know what to say. I know how to say it. You know how that that be like. But then when I'm presenting to people, this fright just takes over me and then I start to stumble. I don't know what to say. It's like I'm lost for words. It's like all my ideas are not joining and all. But then as a chaperone, it's something you have to why am I chaperone? As a chaperone, it's something you have to do. And then I also had to like take it one step further. I had to start teaching like like walking people on how to like present. So like coming from someone that could not present not before then now I'm telling people, okay, this is just how to do it. This is how to do your slides. This is how to just ease into it and all that kind of stuff. So I really grew. I really grew. Like my confidence in interacting with people really grew. And it's all thanks to like the community. And then I've had like very good, solid people that I've been, you know, been able to like communicate with and like talk career development outside the community. So it's not just oh science, science in the community like that. People that I can just call and say, you know what, I'm thinking of doing this, doing this. Does it make sense? Does it not make sense? And then they give me like really solid feedback, and then you know it's it's a beautiful community to be in because you don't just develop like professionally, you also get like solid like relationships. And funny enough, there's some people that I'm learning from that you be like, oh, how you learn from them because maybe they're like. Maybe you're, you're done with school, I'm not done with school. And I'm a, you can learn from anybody basically in this community because a lot of people are doing stuff here. So I'll just say that it has been very wonderful being in the community and I've been growing a lot. There's <laughs> <laughs> no open our, don't open our secrets here. So, yes, that's, that's, that's how my own journey has been personally. So, thank you for, for the opportunity to speak. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much, uh, Chinaza. Like, what I can assure anybody of, like any prospective member or even any outsider of, is that your like growth, if you are actively involved in the activities of the community, your growth is almost 100% sure. That's the truth. And then thank you for sharing your growth, growth journey, how you moved from being fearful or being anxious whenever you have to present to people to having consult like consulting with people i mean advising people on how, how to make very like very good presentations it's really a good story of growth really great really great awesome and i will just take one more person before we move to question and answers anybody Anybody that wants to speak to their journey in, in biosphere? Okay, so I will just call on Akinloy. Hi, Akinloy, can you speak where you are? Not sure. So someone's mic is on. Is that actually? Oh, the one. So I would call someone else. Open I'm line. Sorry, Olade. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, so um, I'm not so sorry. I can. Yeah, I can know you dropped on the in the chat box that science calf. Oh, sorry, Bosphera. <laughs> Balsfera, formerly Science Calf, has allowed me to meet awesome people. Yeah, that's nice testimony. Thanks for sharing, Akinoye. Yeah, great. We are really awesome people in Balsfera. We are awesome people. Um, 
So Obanla, lastly, can you just talk to us about what do you think about your community? What are its how it's contributed to to your um career advancement and what probably what you've been contributing to um how you've been contributing to to achieving the goals of the community too. Obanla Imano. Or is it is he also typing in the chat box? Okay. <clears throat> I don't think it's any it's online anymore. So now see you again, Abdul Rashid. Same question. Nasir Uddin Abdul Rashid. Okay, good evening. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, so, all right, good evening, everybody. So, okay, actually, I describe it. Um, my journey so far with Bosphora has been cool. Yes, I think, yeah, it's nice meeting a couple of people who's um, friends that I've been friends with. But the major thing that I think um, that I'm going to really talk about is the fact that, like, um, actually, I put it, a research direction, okay? I'm actually done with my master's and all here in Nigeria, so, but basically the way OU works is that like most times when you get your admission, especially microbiology, it's, it's always rare for you to get um, a specific direction, even when they want to give you the um, certificate, certificate, it's just going to be general microbiology, something like that. But your project will actually determine the area you want to specify in, but, Along the way, and another line, after joining um, the, what's it called? The journal club, yeah, the journal club, the bar remediation, yeah. So I got, from a couple of sections we have together, I got the perfect direction of what I really wanted for my research line when I consider for doing from my master's for the other one. So it was through the journal club and interactions, I had a couple of friends at the club meeting that I got the direction that I really wanted to one of the discussions like that. So yes, both sphere has actually helped me in picking a particular direction that I feel suits my ideas and all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Obala Imano. So now we, I, I don't know if Ruth also has anything to share about uh, power sphere journey. But I think she has an opportunity to do that because she's taking the next session, which is the Q&A session. So we don't know if... Yeah, so Ruth, over to you. Okay, thank you so much, Olola Day. I remember the moment I I submitted my application to to uh, Biosphera, then Science CAF. It was quite interesting. That was the first time I... I had to think about my life in science, like my whatever it is I'm going to do with science, because it got me thinking, like the questions, the prompt that was asked that I had to like just find some words and figure it out, right? And I, I really want to appreciate Science Cap for making that journey like that, for making application like that. If not, I wouldn't have actually thought about what is it I'm going to do with science. So thank you. And um, afterwards, being with uh, Biosphera has been so so awesome for me as well. Of course, I, I've met awesome people. Like like I said, some, some a few uh, sessions ago, like I've collaborated with a number of persons here and I've had opportunities with I mean, like I got opportunities through members of this community. That's a that's a good one. So thank you, Vasfera. Yeah. All right. So we are going to move right into the next session, and that is question and answer session. As been as I've been asking people to drop their questions in the chat box. Well, I haven't seen any, but anyway, if you have questions. This is an opportunity for you to get the money. So don't miss this opportunity. 
you can indicate so we can uh so you can unmute if you want to speak or you can drop your questions right in the chat box anyone Do you have questions? Do you not have questions? It's a good thing though, like that means everything is clear, right? Uh mm, exactly. Okay. Thank you, Nersha, for that observation. Okay, so um, we don't have any questions for now. So would it be a safe place to to call it a wrap? Alola, there. What do you think? Yeah. So um, just to say that if after this session any question comes up in your mind and all of that, Biosphere can be contacted on LinkedIn. You can always send messages. You can always Please your questions in the comment section on any of our posts on these social media platforms and definitely the questions will be attended to. So, yeah. All right. On this note, we call it a wrap. Thank you for joining the session. And if you know any of your friends that has missed this meeting, it's actually been recorded. So you can request for the recording. You can, uh, so you can share it to them afterwards. Thank you and have a good evening. Bye. Bye, everyone.